Hi everybody, it's Michelle here from Dragonfly Spirit. I hope you're all having a fabulous Sunday. So I'm really excited about this video. It is all about the Fantastical Creatures Terror by Lisa Hunt and DJ Conway. This has been on my wish list for as long as I can remember. And it just have not been able to find it here in South Africa at all. And then we found it in the US and a friend of mine brought it back to South Africa and I got it yesterday. So this is the box and it is gorgeous. It is by US Games. So it is a second hand, it's a previously loved deck, so the box is a little bit damaged, but the cards are gorgeous. And here it says, the mystical powers of fantastical creatures tarot from the world of mythology and folklore are brought to life through captivating imagery, ideal for divination, magic, and meditation. That's the star, absolutely gorgeous. So this is the Fantastical Creatures Tarot. So the deck comes with two little reference cards. One is the Major Arcana. So it's got all the Major Arcana listed and then just quick little keywords on um, the meanings, which is quite nice if you are learning the tarot. It is quite a nice little thing to have. And then it does the minor arcana as well. So there we have the ones and the swords, ace through king, cups and the pentacles. So it's a nice little ad, just to give you a little bit of information. And then we got a little guidebook as well. Fantastical Creatures, illustrated by Lisa Hunt, written by DJ Conway. And it is, as I said, it is a US Games booklet and gives you quite a lot of information on each card. So for instance, you have the Four of Swords, it gives you a little bit of information about the illustration, it gives you divination meaning, magical uses, and then it goes on. So it does give you quite a lot of information. In the beginning of the book, a little bit of acknowledgement and dedication to the artist and the author, an introduction about the mythical beings, and then we go straight into the meaning of each card. I just want to see if there's any little... I haven't actually looked at the little book. I just want to see if there's using a tarot deck. Yeah, I just wanted to see if there was any little spreads for us to use, but it doesn't look like there is. But that's okay. So the Fantastical Creatures. Now, before we get into the cards, I just wanted to show you the back of the card. So it is quite nice that you can use the reversible if you do read reversals. And as we all know, I don't, so that doesn't worry me. It does have a border, but this border does not concern me. Um, the color is very neutral, it's not a white or a black border, so this doesn't worry me at all. And I get easily drawn into Lisa Hunt's artwork. So if I suddenly start going quiet or getting caught up in an image, please forgive me, but I am just a huge, huge fan of Lisa Hunt's work. This is my third deck of hers, and I hope to get lots more. And most of her decks are rare and out of print, so I still hope to get some of them at some stage. So this is The Fool. And it is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, it's not definitely not your typical um, RWS at all, but it does have like this little pathway leading into the, into the unknown, the dragon. I mean, it really is a beautiful, beautiful deck. So let's do that. This must be my favorite card in the entire deck. I am a big cat fan. But is this not the cutest little magician you've ever seen? He's got his wand, he's got his wings, he's got his spell book, and he's ready to conjure up and manifest. It's beautiful. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk about each card. We're just going to go through this quite quickly because this is just a walkthrough. Card stock is really good. They're quite thick, sturdy cards. Has got a bit of a gloss to it. You can't really see it. You can see there's a bit of a shadow there. You can see shadow of me in the background. Um, but anyway, this is the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, 
Look at the faces here in the cards. The High Priest, otherwise known as the Hierophant or the Teacher in some other decks. The Lovers. The Chariot, I think that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Strength. So that is the image on the front of the box. Strength. It's going to be quite interesting for me to read the little um, guidebook to see where all the little creatures come from. The Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. Interesting there with the um, Egyptian um, artwork coming to the fore there. Justice. The Hanged Man, which is really interesting because normally, as you know, the Hanged Man is, no, is a person hanging upside down, um, but this one is not. So this is really interesting for me. The Hanged Man. Death, you can actually just see that transformation happening. I mean, that is beautiful. Temperance, I'm trying to hold this so that you can actually see the card, not the reflection. Now, Chains is the Devil. The Tower. The star, oops, the moon, there's an owl in the background there, the sun, reminds me of the Lion King, the sun rays, beautiful, judgment with the dragons again. She also did um, illustrate the Celtic Dragon um, tarot deck as well. I don't have that one, but it is one that I would like to... I think I missed a card. There we go, the world. I felt like I had two cards in my hand there. Right. Sorry, I'm banging them. Here we go, Ace of Pentacles. How cute is that? Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. We're going to go through this quite quickly. I don't want to. I'll sit and devour them afterwards. Three of Pentacles. I love the dragons. Oh, look. Little gnome. Five of Pentacles. The six of Pentacles. We had the Six of Pentacles come up in one of our readings recently, one of the morning readings. Seven of Pentacles, very interesting. Look at all the faces there. Eight. The artwork just draws you in and um, leaves me quite speechless, I must be honest. Nine of Pentacles. I mean, she is in control of everything around her. Just look at her. She's got the wisdom and the knowledge of the owl, and she's in control of everything. I think that is stunning. The Ten of Pentacles, which reminds me a bit of hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. Little dwarves. The page. The page is a little bit reminiscent of the flower, um, the spring of flowers that I did earlier this week. The knight, the queen, and the king. Right, then we go into the wands, the ace of wands, the two of wands. The three, four, five, six. Sorry, I 
keep banging the camera. Seven. Eight of Wands. Oh, that is beautiful. Look, you can actually just see that movement. Moving fast, making quick decisions. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands, Page, Knight, again with the Egyptian sort of theme in there, Queen, so it looks like she's um, utilized quite a lot of different sort of folklore and mythological sort of creatures, King, Oh, the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Two of Cups. Relationships. They're both reaching for the same cup. Intertwined. Three of Cups. Four. Five of Cups. Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups look like a, looks like a Selkie. No, no, you know in the folklore that there is a Selkie which um, can transform into a woman when on land. So then the Seven of Cups looks like, looks like the Selkie and then she's got the Cups in front of her and she's trying to make up her mind between all the decisions she's had, all the choices she's got. Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, Ten, Page, oh, look at the Dolphins, the Knight, Oops, I'm just trying to pick it up. Queen, that king is beautiful, just look at the colour in that, right now we're looking at the swords, ace of swords, two of swords, three is all about heartache and you can see the Knife in the back, trying to move away from it. The Four of Swords, taking time out to rest. The Five, Six, Six looks like a Phoenix, Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords, Nine, very interesting, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, the Knight, the Queen, and the king. And that is the fantastical creatures. Excuse the noise. Fantastical creatures tarot, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Lisa Hunt and DJ Conway, I give you guys a big thumbs up. This is a beautiful, beautiful deck, and I look forward to using it. So look out for this week. Maybe this week I might actually use it in one of my morning readings. So have a keep an eye out for that. And thank you for spending some time with me on a Sunday afternoon. I hope you enjoy the rest of your afternoon and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you. Bye-bye.